Hey, what's up everybody? This is your nutritionist on the go, Kamal Deep Singh Ojala from Iru Diet Nutrition and we are going to talk about cereals and grains for diabetic people. Okay, so uh, should diabetes people consume these cereals and grains freely or they need to put a thought to it? They definitely need to put a thought and make choices when it comes to cereals and grains because they can drastically, drastically affect your blood sugar levels. Okay, so what is this all about? We are trying to find a link with fiber containing cereals and grains versus those cereals and grains which do not have fiber are processed, are refined or are hybrid seeds or GMOs. Okay, uh, before starting the video, let me tell you one thing for general knowledge. The common wheat grain that we are using right now was developed by scientists to overcome the shortage of a staple food in, in America. So they came up with this variety of wheat grains, they crossbred them, they took out the positive qualities and they came up with one hybrid seed that is being grown all over the globe. The modern wheat, which I say. See, the modern wheat is hybrid. It is very much resistant to a lot of diseases, requires less water, it's shorter in size and gives more yield. Okay, so this was something basic, but what, where the problem with this grain of wheat is, it was not clinically tested. After the development of the hybrid seed, the GMO seed, it was not put up to trials, it was not uh, tested properly and it was directly launched uh, into the market and the agriculture just kicked off from there and this particular hybrid seed came to India during the times of green revolution when there was expansion in the production of wheat in our country. And so here we come consuming wheat in the morning, wheat in the afternoon, wheat in the evening for snacks, wheat in the night for our dinner. Our whole day circulates around wheat. Now why am I talking about wheat in this diabetic videos? Not until you, you exclude this grain from your diet, you are not going to get a stable blood glucose level. Yes. You have to reduce the consumption or totally exclude the consumption of wheat and wheat byproducts such as maida and uh, suji from your diet if you want to control your blood glucose levels. Wheat is not safe for you. You need to switch on some alternatives. Number two, the grain that is the second most popular staple grain of our country, rice. Yes, the white rice. See, the rice is not white when it is uh, harvested. It is of a brownish and a yellowish or light reddish colored product. A grain which is rich in vitamin B complexes. But what happens in the rice mills is the husk is removed and the rice is polished which removes out a lot of vitamins almost all of them and almost all the fiber content of this grain and without that fiber without that fiber what left behind is same as wheat we've got simple carbohydrates they get easily digested and they shoot up your blood glucose levels white rice is not safe for your consumption also you should exclude white rice from your diet if you are diabetic number three corn See, majority of the people they might know about white rice should not be taken when diabetic. Many, a few people only know about uh, that we should not even consume any corn product. Let it be a corn flour or let it be corn flakes or uh, porridge made up of corn or, or corn in any form. Corn is also a genetically modified seed, a hybrid seed, a GMO seed and the amount of starch that is present in the seed which is broken down and converted into blood glucose levels so quickly that it shoots up your blood glucose that is unwanted for us so let's talk about the three staple foods that we have learned right now wheat gmo low in fiber causes high blood spike number two rice uh, a lot of vitamin content is lost in the polishing process and the fiber is low that's why it is not safe for your 
uh, blood glucose is number three corn and all the byproducts made from corn these are also not safe so what are the safe alternatives for that the safe alternative the best safe uh, the, the best alternative for grains that i can recommend you is millet that is also called baja you can consume millet in the form of flour you can consume millet in the form of porridge okay why is millet the best not yet hybrid okay don't wait for the multinational companies to grab your millet grain and make it a hybrid and then sell it to you by advertisement don't wait that long start consuming millet from right from now it is a complex carbohydrate it is rich in fiber it will provide you even more calories even more energy than as compared to wheat okay but uh, the glycemic load of uh, of millet is low that's why it is a much better and safer option plus when millets are digested in our body in our small intestine our good gut friendly bacteria when they digest these millets they release certain compounds which are actually anti-inflammatory if your body is anti is, is creating an anti-inflammatory effect it is naturally going to improve the quality of insulin that you have in your body it is not only safe for diabetic patients in terms of that it will not not sh uh, shoot the blood glucose level but it will also reduce the inflammation from the body which is very necessary if you are a diabetic patient the other second grain that i can suggest you guys is brown rice brown rice is an excellent source of fiber and energy the major difference with brown rice is that it is not polished okay so that that's why it has more b vitamins in it and it has more fiber in it and due to this fiber content these brown rice and these millets improve uh, your stabilization of blood glucose levels so these should be your choices of cereals and last i'm going to talk about oats see the oats that are available in the market they are good for you yes they will have a positive effect as compared to wheat corn and uh, rice but the structure of these oats since these oats are pre-cooked okay now there is a huge difference between steel cut or rolled oats and the oats that are available in our market which are pre-cooked so the pre-cooked oats are not going to drastically improve your blood glucose levels so i suggest you go for the raw rolled or steel cut oats and you will definitely if you change your staple food if you change your staple grain from rice to brown rice from wheat to millets or uh, you can also add the uh, jowar into it and uh, these changes alone in your staple food consumption will drastically affect have a positive effect on your blood glucose levels this was for now if you have any doubt regarding this video you can uh, post it out in the comment section if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and like and follow my facebook page and instagram page and erudite nutrition uh, signing out right now i hope you guys have a great time ahead take care